Lake Winnipeg is sick. The lake is full of phosphorus, which can lead to algae and blooms and affects the fish and populations as well as the local wildlife and people relying on that lake. A team of researchers at the University of Manitoba is looking at how climate change and airborne particles like pollen, dust and wildfire smoke can also negatively affect that lake. Joining us now from the U of M's Faculty of Agricultural and Food Sciences, Masood Gahukari. Good morning, Masood. Morning. So tell us a little bit about what's happening with the lake as it stands. Okay, so over the past 50 years, the loading of phosphorus over Lake Winnipeg has nearly doubled. And uh, that has effect on excess phosphorus loading to lake and uh, causing lots of algae blooms. And uh, algae blooms can act as a blanket over water, Lake Winnipeg water, and cause a source of problem. And even worse, when algae die and take apart, we have more serious problem for lakes. So long story short, we should think about reducing phosphorus loading to Lake Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. How can this happen? So uh, uh, most, of the, m most of our research mainly focused on, uh, let's say, uh, how much phosphorus coming through rivers and runoff and uh, not much attention about another pathway of transporting phosphorus, which is air. Mm -hmm. So air also can transport phosphorus. And for Lake Winnipeg, even though we do have some estimation for, uh, let's say, atmospheric deposition over Lake Winnipeg, but that has some weaknesses. The first one is that estimation is based on another lake, very small lake in another province, Alberta, and that belongs to the 1890s. So we decided to just have some local estimation for, for the lake itself and define this process and define this research. So I guess the air could tell us a story and you've brought a visual component as well just to give us an idea of how much of an impact the wild forest fire smoke can have. Sure, yeah. Before that, if you allow me, I just uh, touch base about how we collect those samples. Mm -hmm. Because collecting samples of, uh, let's say, particulate matter over, uh, of uh, air is quite challenging because and, uh, we should use different methods and we should cover entire surface of lake and shoreline as well as cover different season. So in mm -hmm. order to cover uh, using, I, I mean cover the entire surface of Lake Winnipeg, uh, Lake Winnipeg Research Consortium likely provide us uh, a good platform, NEMEO, the big scientific ship, and we use that and uh, while um, they just cover entire surface through different seasons, spring, summer, and fall. We were there and uh, installed our equipment. And uh, this just passed spring cruise. We were there and wildfire was happening in the north region of Lake Winnipeg. So I bring two uh, sample collected by, let's say, act past active sampler. Mm -hmm. Active sampler, you can imagine that active sampler is a big, uh, let's say, vacuum that uh, suck the air and you can uh, see uh, materials left, by, I mean, uh, stay on top of the filter. So I bring two filters here. The first one in my right hand side uh, belongs to filter when the wind direction coming from south uh, and then left side is the filter which represents when the wind direction coming from the north, which we had wildfire. Yeah. Very profound uh, difference in the color and also in the signature. And this one probably so enriched with phosphorus. Masood, thank you so much for this conversation. We, we really appreciate your time. Such thank important you. research.